How do you do, folks? This here is the old mom man I'm talking at you from the back side of this here lake in the hills of Arkansas. Well, we've had about three, four days worth of rain, so that's why I didn't get to get out here and get a video shot of me cooking that copperhead snake. But today, I got everything set up. Got the got that scaly little critter right here and I'm gonna skin him and gut him and I've had him in the freezer since the the killing here the other night Ooh, that's a mess got him right behind the head not much meat no meat at all was wasted so I thought him in the freezer and he's still a little bit cool which is good it took me a little while it took me a little while to get the to get that, uh, to get online, I had to do some updating to my computer and oh, all kinds of crap. I have no idea what I'm going to be talking about here on this video today while I'm doing all this cooking. I have a whole lot of things on my mind here lately. But, and a lot of really ain't worth talking about on video because it's a bunch of petty bullshit that's went on you know basically in my life and on YouTube and it's other people doing it and I really don't want to give them any credit or recognition for having gotten on my nerves makes me want to tear them limb from limb and then beat them with it I swear to God there's so many damn people in this world that don't deserve to breed and they don't deserve to be even drawing the breath that the Creator gave them. Them damn low down dirty scumbags. I always try to make my videos upbeat. But you know, whenever you're having a bad day, by God, you're having a bad day. And bad days come and go. I'll tell you what, I have my bad days. But it's my subscribers, my good subscribers, people that actually watch, comment, and rate my videos. And I really do appreciate honest comments from people. Not just blowing smoke up my pant leg. You know, if you got a question, ask a question. The antlered woodsman a while ago, he wanted to know what kind of flashlight that I got. It's a Coleman CT, I never even thought about it, Coleman CT-15MC. That's a, yeah, we got that little, uh, you can see there, W, R, and B on there. And you, you just click here. I don't know if that webcam is picking up that click. It's got that little rigid edge there with a white indicator mark. Right there to tell you whether it's on white, red, or blue on them color settings. But, yeah, he wanted to know about that. So I typed up the comment appropriately. But, hell, I gotta get me a cigarette made. And to be completely honest, I got a headache. I don't feel like making a video. But I have them now that I got this this YouTube channel started. I've got a very nice evening to do this video, and I have a responsibility to my subscribers to make a video. You know, given no matter if I got a headache or not. Yeah, the Antlered Woodsman also said. No, you know, don't feel the need to make videos entertaining. You know, you know just be you. <laughs> That's all I know how to be. You won't see no fancy graphics or music or dramatic opening with a with a, a flashy flashy graphics display or anything like that. I was thinking about pulling a little joke and making myself up a piece of cardboard with some with some lettering on it that reads my fancy graphic and hold it up there 
in front of the in front of the camera. Have some of the letters turn around backwards. You know, like an illiterate hillbilly, but as you all know by now, I'm not exactly illiterate. I don't do punctuation very well unless it's question marks or, or uh, the fuck, uh, exclamation marks. Didn't really do, didn't do really great in school either. I had better things to do, like fishing, hunting. And it was after school, it was after I quit school at age 16 that I got out there in the world, started going to the library, started getting educated on subjects that I wanted to be educated on. Chemistry, science, and herbal medicine, animals, plants. It's a wealth of information on the net I'm studying all the time. Subject will pop into my head during uh, watching a movie or something on YouTube. And I do have a movies playlist if you want to get a little better insight as to what I watch. You know, what I like. A lot of things on uh, YouTube. And then again, there's a lot of things that ain't on YouTube. <sighs> well, I reckon I better get with skin in that uh, reptile and getting them cooked. You don't want me to go spoil it, and I don't know, you know how it's going to taste because it's been in, just throw them in the freezer. You know, had a couple of squirrels in the freezer for a while, head skin and all. Hmm. No wonder I ain't got a girlfriend. I'm sure <laughs> what woman could put up with me, huh? Rough cut, I don't give a shit. Yeah. I've had a few girlfriends in my life. Been married and divorced twice. And just in case y'all wonder, I'm the one to file. I got eight nonsense. I was thinking about all this stuff, you know, rehashing it through my head time and again, time and again. And yeah, was there anything I could have done to salvage any of those relationships and make them? Worth something than nothing. No. I looked at it with logic and reasoning, and given the ulterior motives for those those women have for getting hooked up with me, then yeah, it's just the way it is. Hell of a damn thing, isn't it? Somebody wants to get with somebody else just for something they can do for them. Help them to achieve a goal that they need to achieve that they couldn't do by themselves. Yeah. So for the last four years I decided to remain alone. That's right. Me and my dog. Taking care of my dog. He don't care about much. He didn't care whether the house was clean or dirty or whether I smell like a sweaty buffalo or, or whatever. No, the only thing he cares about is well, whether or not his food pan's got grub in it and whether or not I'm in a good mood or a bad mood. If I'm in a bad mood, he crawls off and hides somewhere. And then he'll come out and look at me with him and say, hey, puppy dog eyes. Mm. Mm. <laughs> he come up to me. Are you mad? Look at me like, are you mad? I pat him on the head. No, little bear, I ain't mad at you. Hey, my buddy, he's laying over here. Laying over here beside the stand that I got the laptop up on. Well, I figured I'd give a little more personal info on myself. You'll learn something about me in each and every video. As for women, yeah, I still love them. I look at the pretty girls every time I go to town. But I got a look-don't-touch policy. I 
just don't. Could be some woman one of these days will change my mind. And she's gonna have to be mighty extraordinary and like hunting and fishing and all that good stuff. Bait her own hook. <laughs> oh, back this chair up. <laughs> Oh, and I got me a cantaloupe out of my garden. Mmm, boy, overripe. Whenever I went and checked on this thing, it, I just kind of moved it just a little bit while it was still sitting on the ground, and that stem fell off. Didn't even have to pull it or cut it. So, yeah, you can smell it. Smell the sweetness right through the skin. Right through the rind. Like that. Oh, buddy. Alright, let's get to the disgusting part. Skinning and gutting that snake. I gotta go get a razor knife. Come on, little bear. We get it. I got me a exacto knife set. Well, there's some 22 rounds and a flash drive and a four gigabyte flash drive. Makeshift Ranger band. Yeah, you can take a way you make those Ranger bands. You uh, take a bicycle. Or two, and just clip off a little piece of it. You got yourself an oversized rubber band to secure your gear. Like if you want to hold two magazines together, you know, for your rifle, you can take that. And it stretches way out there. Stretches out there pretty good. And it helps. Ah, I think I'm gonna use this blade right here. There's a little old, let's see what is it. Supposed to have a number on it. it looks like H1 How I don't know. Exacto knife blade. Like that. Oh, wrong way. What? I swear. Well, what in the world? Why that? Oh, I see. It's been a long time since I used one of these dang things. <laughs> <laughs> it's shit. I agree. Might want to get some water out here to wash that snake off after I get him gutted. Don't want to use one of these so I don't mess the hide up. Uh, Getting a snake. I ain't gonna be doing this too awful straight. I did want to use a, a blade that had a good sharp, definitely a good sharp edge on it, so that I could. Make dang sure not to have any problem. Not to say that my knives ain't sharp, but yeah. I've always used a box knife or an X Acto knife for skinning snakes.
Gaya. <coughs> yeah. Damn cigarettes. I swear. If I could quit easy enough, I would. Yeah. Some people can, and some people can't. Skeeters is chewing on me. Trying to anyway. Damn headache just won't go away. Well, it will. Sooner or later. About got this scaly critter scamp. I'm gonna take this skin off and Yeah, still smells good and fresh. How it's gonna taste I don't know. I ain't ate copperhead in so long. I doubt very seriously if it's going to taste like chicken. So many people try to say, oh, snake tastes like chicken. No, snake tastes like snake. Squirrel tastes like squirrel. And frog tastes like frog. The whole thing with people and these uh, trying to say that wild meat tastes like something they ate before. Well, kind of trips them out there. They're worried that it's going to taste bad. So they pull a psychological trick on themselves. And they say, well, I hope it sure don't taste bad. They're thinking this stuff all through their head. And whenever they get it, they just nibble at it to see, and then they try to acquaint it with something they've eaten before. So they won't look like a big wuss and spit it out. <laughs> oh, a damn thing. The things that the human mind can do. I sit and think about these things all the time. People. They want to try to acquaint their wild meat with chicken or pork or some damned other meat that they had before. So they won't. Yeah. So they'll be able to eat it. Now I got this skin. So I'm going to step inside again. Just be a couple of minutes, maybe less than a minute. Got it nice and clean. Yeah. All right, now. Let's get this skillet over here. Let's get this knife out. 
this old Winchester knife. One of my favorite pocket knives. My brother's wife gave that to me for for Christmas. Nice knife. Yeah, come on now. You got tough son bitch, ain't you? You got some good skeletal structure. Good and solid. Scaly bastard. Come up my fucking yard, why don't you? Get around my dog. What do you think about it, little bear? Mm -hmm. Think you might want to tree me another copperhead? sectioned up. Got a little bit of water in the pan. That won't go over too well with that cooking oil. I'm going to have to do something about that. Put that right there on that coffee can. Alright. Okay. Stove ain't going to sit up level. Jeez, 23 minutes and a few seconds. That bag of stove ain't setting up exactly the way I need it to. That bucket is something lopsided. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, God. Turn down low. All right. Let's see here. You got some Carlini olive oil. Olive oil. And from the way that olive oil is sitting in that pan, the diagram still it is still sitting on the side. Living on it. That gum slope of a hill is a hell of a damn thing. Think about another problem I got, but no, that's not for the internet. Well, that oil there, add some more. 
truly a record. Didn't have enough of it. Hot oil in there. To get critter. Oil's heating up pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, bear. You raised up there when that first piece hit. Start licking your chops. <laughs> you ain't getting enough. No. You ain't getting enough. I don't want you to start slithering around here acting like a damn snake. So far, dude. You might start trying to bite me or something. Damn, damn. That gum cooking all splattering all over the place. Oh, let's see here. Fried copperhead. All natural, no seasoning, no marinating, none of that goddamn fancy candy ass food shit. Yeah. Yeah. I like to taste what I'm eating. Yeah, bud. out of the vertebrae. I 
black and brown. God damn it. Pop right in my face. Yeah, I think it's done. Yeah. I can't figure that snake's done. I only got 31 minutes and 26 seconds uh, on the counter. Might as well go for 35 or 40 minutes. cup of coffee. Oops. Overflowed it a little. Oh well, I got a weep hole in the bottom of that, that thing so it drained the water out. Oh great. Set that down there. See if I can get that well, this is a delay. So draw the daggum video out longer. That right, snake skin. That's going to stretch out good and wide. For a hat band. That's right. Still smells good. I'm going to drape that out there. Couldn't find me another uh, Coleman stove over at uh, over at Walmart. They quit selling them, so I went over to the academy and I got me a Timber Creek stove. And I noticed one thing: they got a brass apparatus there for the fuel for the fuel tank to hook into, which is way better than the cast iron. Or not cast iron. Shit, I got cast iron on the fucking brain brass apparatus here instead of that cast aluminum bullshit that Coleman uses. Now I'm not against Coleman products but I am against using shitty materials that's going to wear out in a year or so. And I use these things all the time. And I'd say brass is a hell of a lot better than cast aluminum any day of the week. It'll last a lot longer. Wouldn't bother me if they made it out of steel. Now, whatever might happen to making things out of steel, well, I can answer that question. Now that I asked it, I watched a video on YouTube on you know, why do products break down so much, and it's called planned obsolescence. In order to increase productivity of the company, they make things, they, they design it so it will break down. Isn't that a kick in the ass? Computers are designed that way, stoves, you know, anything. We live in a disposable age. Disposable lighters, disposable diapers, disposable computers, disposable this and disposable that. God almighty, I wish they'd bring back the days of things lasting for 15, 20 years instead of this bullshit. You know, with everything breaking down and costing the poor boy money. And poor folks just have troubles getting anything decent these days. It's going to last a good long time. You know, hell, I've... Oh, fuck. Oh, it's no noise. The world is turned into a lump of shit. And damn company shipping everything overseas to be made cheaply by slave labor, slave wages or whatever. I'd give anything for a damn job. I wouldn't have to work, you know, trying to sell fire starting kits. I'll pour this damn 
cooking oil out here on the ground. I'm not even going to try to keep it. I'm not like, you know, grandma that keeps all the baking grease or anything else. It either goes to the dog or and pour it out. See how this the snake is. You know, that ain't bad. I guess you can't tear into it like a rabbit head. Or rabbit head. <laughs> rabbit head, rabbit leg. Well, Bear, I'm sorry, buddy, but there just ain't a whole hell of a lot here. No, it don't taste like chicken. There's a cross between them. Bullfrog and rabbit. That's what it tastes like. Crow and bullfrog and rabbit. I just ain't a whole lot of me on damn little copper here. I like to have that big old six, eight foot timber rather. One of them come crawling up into the yard by God. I'll pin that sucker's head down too. Why go wasting a bullet or a shotgun and shell or whatever on a. Why go wasting ammo? On the ammo ain't got no legs. You get a shovel, pan the damn head down like I did this copper head. There in the damn bones. I could have fried it up a little crispier. Then it would have been tough as a boot. Little bear, I'll cook you some hamburgers here in a little while. Let me get through shooting video. Hmm. This is the first copperhead I've eaten in a long time. Mm -mm -mm. That is good. Just the flavor of the meat alone. Not even any salt. Mm. That is good. Cross between bullfrog and rabbit. Mm. Fucking chicken. Jesus Christ, people. Get real. Okay. <laughs> mm. 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 
Voilà. crispy enough on them edges to eat them bones. This one might be. It's on toward the tail. Yeah. I was worried that whenever the snake was in the freezer, you know, just th you know, take it and throw it in there like that. They'd been in there a couple of days and the gut might have froze and busted. Like, like what has happened to squirrels that I put in there the meat gets tainted by the intestinal fluids and gives it a real odd taste I would have known right away and said Oop, that ain't, I left it in the freezer too long and I ain't worth eating I ain't gonna make myself sick for making the for a second making a video no. I really just took it and skinned it and kept the skin Throwed it in the burn pile back there. That's right. Mm -hmm. I've waited three, four days to make this video. Let's see here. Let me reduce this down to the system's tray. August the 7th, and this is the 12th. August the seventh is whenever I upload that video of me killing that thing on camera. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's five days ago. And we ain't had nothing but damn rain. Partial sunshine once in a while. And you know, whenever I come out the house today, I say, well, it's a nice day. I'm shooting a video. First I gotta go lay down. Yeah, you know, it was after a I missed my appointment with the doctor today. Got to reschedule it. And there was a little confusion as to the time and all this that I was supposed to be there. And I said, well, the hell, it's eight months after one. We can't make it by 1230. We can't go 25 miles into town. And that short of time. All right, run the risk of getting a ticket. Mm. That was a piece I hadn't picked clean yet. Little Bear, I'm sorry, boy, but I don't know what eating snake would do you. You might go slithering across the damn yard and start biting at me or something. <laughs> I'll cook you some hamburgers. Okay, I'll cook you four or five of them burgers in there. Oh boy. Now for dessert. Yeah. You stay out of that skillet part, knocker. You will get something to eat a little bit later. But it's full rock, baby. Yeah, buddy. All the seeds stayed in the main part of Canelo. Oh, crap. I'm just going to set that down there. Ain't nothing going to get it. Oh, damn. Oh, that's got to be the best cantaloupe I've eaten since last year's vine ripened cantaloupe. Mm. Good survival food, melons, 
melons of all kinds and got a lot of water in it, a lot of juice. But the thing come about scattering some of your seed from this year's crop out there in the woods and some brush piles. That way they give the vines a chance. Now the critter wouldn't come along and just eat them. Whenever I got that stove, that Timber Creek stove, it had a very large uh, burner bowl up there on top. This thing here. So I changed it out for Coleman. You now these little prongs that hold up the the cup above the above the flame well they were too far apart and I had to sit there and maneuver it this way and hold it that way and position it just right instead of just taking it and setting it down on there like that I have to sit there and dick around with it I'm talking about a pain in the ass so I just said fuck it I'm gonna change it out so I changed it out Wasn't difficult to do, neither. Mm -hmm. And this will go in the compost heap. Yeah, that'll go in the compost heap. And the rest of it will go, I'll remove them seeds, and the rest of it will go in the refrigerator, and I'll have it for breakfast tomorrow. Like me some melon. Whether it's watermelon or cantaloupe or honeydew, it's all good. For the melons go. Yeah. Still got a little bit of coffee in this cup. Mm -mm -mm. I'm thinking about people being ornery here lately. Yeah. There's certain philosophies and certain prophecies and such that it says. You know, the end of days that people's love for one another, one another's fellow man will grow cold, cold like wax that's gotten away from the flame. You know, and the way I take that is people, as long as people around one another, they'd be friendly. Whenever they're away from one another, they get all crappy and, you know, ornery and mean and whatever. that dang thing down that they had that was using too much too much propane I'm going to buy like seven or eight of them things a month I'd like to be able to afford a whole flat could be I you know no I was thinking about that TV producer that approached me here a few months ago wanted me he said my videos were funny <laughs> my videos are funny. You know, it's really something that what city people think is funny. Yeah. Well, I could, if I, he just said that to my face, I'd have bitch slapped the hell out of him. I would have. I said, motherfucker, is that funny? Huh? I'd have smacked him two or three damn times and probably punched him a couple of times in the head. Say, is that funny? Mr. TV producer? So my life ain't no fucking joke, Jack. It's hard. It's hard living out here, and you know, as far as you know, money goes. But I got all this peace and quiet. And I got freedom. I can go over and pee on a tree. I can shoot a squirrel out of a tree. I can plant a garden, dig a fire pit, and cook me some food. I got game all around me. 
Now this is country boy's dream, living out here like this. I do got city water and electric and internet. You know, I ain't all off grid and stuff like that, you know. If I was off grid, I wouldn't have a computer, you know, or a cell phone. Yeah, I got a cell phone, got an active cell phone number and all. I talked to Hick Billy Herman here a few days ago. Tell me all about a new girlfriend. I said, well, I'm happy for you. If you're happy with her, I'm happy for you. And boy, it's a hell of a damn deal. Where is my tobacco? Where'd I put it? Oh, there it is. <coughs> <coughs> oh, there's half a cigarette. Oh, Lord of mercy. Yeah, there's my cell phone. That's one of the old Motorola Razor phones from way on back there, the Model V3. Yeah, and it still works. <laughs> <coughs> the only problem with it is uh, the space bar. Whenever I go to uh, type up a text, I got to hit that flat with my thumb. I can't just hit it with my thumbnail. Yeah, sometimes it acts up, but that's about it. Yeah, I can get another uh, motherboard or circuit board or whatever it is to go underneath these little old buttons here, and I can take that off. I can take that apart, put that old circuit board in there. It ain't no problem. Huh? It's just a matter of doing it. All that stuff pops apart. Yeah. The heck of a damn thing. Oh, Lord. Technology. If it wasn't for technology, I wouldn't be able to reach out to the world, you know. I'd basically be... You know, isolated a little bit more, I reckon you can say. Looks like that water might be. Yeah. So, there we go. I get my coffee. I got that generic dark rose coffee that I like. I better just throw that old coffee out. Okay. One, two, three, three tablespoons. Yeah. Dang gum, this thing nearly an hour long, 53 minutes and 56 seconds. I wonder who's going to watch this damn thing all the way through. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Seems like some folks don't mind watching my videos all the way through. They know they're going to be long. Because I don't do any editing. I don't do any bullshit. You, know, you get me in real life, real time, all the way through. No fucking bullshit. Oh, and I cuss too. Let me figure that out. For now. I don't think God's going to send me to hell for cussing. Now, if I was a bad person, yeah, most likely. A lot of people out there don't believe in God. That's okay. That's all right. Yeah. Don't bother me. It ain't my job to convince you that God exists or don't exist or any which way. And that's another thing that gets on my nerves. People putting each other down for their beliefs and non-beliefs or what have you. Well, at one time, I used to practice shamanism. That's right. I was active practitioner of shamanism. Yeah, and it was, a, it was a heck of a thing. Trips into the underworld, as they were described by Michael Harner in the book Way of the Shaman. It's a starter guide, a guide to power and healing. Uh, 
and it's uh, it describes a lot of things. But for 14 years, I practiced shamanism because I thought I started whenever I was in my first marriage because I needed an escape. I needed an escape away from her, and that was my escape. I could sit out in the backyard and meditate. I could sit right there at the dinner table and meditate. Tune her out. I know it sounds bad. But I guess she just had to know the moment. It wasn't her fault the way she was. She was the way she was. We all are the way we all are. truth of the matter is I really don't think the woman's cut out for marriage I'd like to get married again one of these days maybe right woman comes along maybe a little soldier girl hell yeah that'd be sweet there was a soldier girl here on YouTube but her channel got deleted and I won't say why, but it had to do with something offensive that she put in her about about section on her channel. And apparently she had been warned so many times. YouTube will give you a warning or Google or whoever's in charge of everything now. They'll give you a warning. And it's you know, I'm sad to see her go. Ms. Loneliness was her name. Was her YouTube name. I really valued her. Her, uh, her videos. I really did. For some odd reason, the lighting changed. I don't know what the heck's going on there. I guess, I don't know, cloud bank or something blowed over the setting sun and that gum lighting changed all of a sudden. Well, it went on for almost an hour now. And I'm tired of waiting on that coffee. That water's hot. Got steam rolling off of it. But I sure miss that Ms. Loneliness. She, she was an outstanding individual. And she wouldn't give, she wouldn't take no bullshit off of nobody. She'd damn well tell you the way it was. And I think she had a bunch of trolls that were plaguing her channel and telling her, you know, all kinds of bullshit whenever she had her facts down. You know, she tried to show people her battle rattle, her gear, one day. And then all these fucking bull idiots come along with no videos and no no nothing except the animated photo on their on their little for a channel icon and they wasn't nothing but trolls they wasn't nothing but idiotic trolls aggravating and irritating the woman Apparently she didn't know what a troll was or how to respond to them by just blocking them and getting them away from her. You know? That's what I do with trolls. All that coffee is good. Well, y'all, it's near an hour. It's, well, there's an hour. I better scoot up here and get this thing stopped and get this video uploaded. And, as always, this here is Old Mountain Man signing off from the backside of this here lake in the hills of Arkansas, wishing y'all a great evening and a great tomorrow. And please be good to yourselves and try to be good to each other. And if someone mistreats you, shut them out of your life until they decide to apologize for the whole mess. Depending on who needs to do the apologizing. I got somebody I need to apologize to, and I'll do that here in a little bit. And yeah, it's here on YouTube. She didn't deserve the bullshit that I tossed her way, so. Adios for now, folks. And uh, if you got a, an amends to make, 
make it. If you gotta say you're, you apologize for being antagonistic towards someone, then do it. You'll be the bigger person. Y'all have a good night now. Signing off.